in Cincinnati. The Nationals looked for a while there yesterday like they were going to emerge with a series win to start the season. Ended up not being the case after a late comeback by the Reds as they walked the Nats off yesterday. Your biggest takeaway from that series is what? My biggest takeaway was the, per the performance of the young guys. Think about who had the best weekends. C.J. Abrams, Cabert Ruiz, mm -hmm. Trey Lipscomb. That, to me, is more important than anything else that happened. Yeah, you wish that the bottom of the ninth didn't happen the way they did and they came home with a winning record. But if you can step back from that and think about the, really the most important players on this team, they all showed well in that opening weekend, especially Trey Lipscomb, given the circumstances, called up to make his major league debut in game two, looks really solid in the first game, and then homers in his second game. CJ was all over the place, on the bases, in the field, hitting a home run as well, and Cabert, we know, with the clutch home yeah. run as well. So, I, you know, I know we want to talk about the, the team winning more games and that, but it still is mostly about the young guys. To see them perform, to me, was a big, uh, important step. Saturday and Sunday saw a pair of appearances by Harvey and Finnegan that you compare the two days and you kind of flip the results, right? Saturday, Hunter Harvey got hit around a little bit. Kyle Finnegan ended up picking up the save. Yesterday, it was Harvey that posted a zero and Finnegan that blew the save in the ninth inning. So how do you assess these two through their first couple appearances of the year? Well, with relievers, it's so tough because, you know, one outing can change your entire perspective on it, of course. And especially early in the year when you don't get a lot of work or certainly not high-pressure work in spring training, it can take a few games to get into the flow of that again. So maybe that's some of what happened. Uh, Finnegan, I give him so much credit, talking to us after the game last night and really went into good detail about what his thought process was. Both home runs came on splitters. Yep. That's not his best pitch normally, but he said having faced the two of them the day before, thinking he can catch them off guard, they're not looking for that, wants to maybe get him to swing over a pitch that drops, and he just didn't execute them. He wasn't really questioning the pitch selection. It was the execution of those. Boy, it happened so fast. Remember last year, he had a rough first week yes. and then took off after that. You hope maybe that's going to be the case again for him. So I still think these are our two best relievers. I think more often than not, they're going to get the job done. Once they get into a rhythm and flow, it'll be interesting today, though, if they have a chance late in the game. They both pitched two days in a row. Right. Davey doesn't like to do that. He kind of couched his sentiments in pregame. When I asked him about that, don't be surprised if maybe somebody else has to pitch the eighth or ninth inning today. Yeah, three days in a row right out of the gates is a lot to ask. We got a long way to go this season, so uh, maybe the Nationals lead big in the late innings and they don't even need to go to their two highest leverage guys. Mark McKenzie Gore makes his first start of the 2024 season. It comes here in the home opener, so a nice little boost for him. Gets to ride the emotion of this day. Davies talked so much last year about wanting to see McKenzie control his emotions a little bit better, mature maybe a little bit more as a pitcher. Do you think he saw that in spring training? Yeah, as much as you can. You know, again, you, until you're really out here in a game that's meaningful with all the fans, the attendance, you get into a little bit of a jam, how are you going to handle that? I think that's what they really want to see from him. But, you know, I mentioned those three other young guys over the weekend. Mackenzie Gore falls in that same category as all of them. He's one of their most important young players moving forward. And... I think they believe, and I think he believes, that this is his year to step up, turn those negative starts into just okay starts, right. and all of a sudden you have on your hands potentially a number one starter. He's got the stuff, he's got the mindset to do it. This is a big assignment for him, but Davey wanted specifically to give this to him, just like Josiah on opening day, a little bit of the passing of the torch to the young guys. Let's see how he handles it today. Mark, thank you very much. Anytime, Dan. Mark Zuckerman, you can read his work on Mac.